Bash is a Unix shell written by Brian Fox for the GNU project as a free software replacement for the Born shell. Released in 1989, it has been distributed widely as the shell for the GNU operating system and as a default shell on Linux and Mac OS X. It has been ported to Microsoft Windows and distributed with Sigwin and MinGW, to DOS by the DJGPP project, to Novell Network and to Android via various terminal emulation applications. Bash is a command processor, typically run in a text window, allowing the user to type commands which cause actions. Bash can also read commands from a file, called a script. Like all Unix shells, it supports file name wildcarding, piping, here documents, command substitution, variables and control structures for condition testing and iteration. The keywords, syntax and other basic features of the language were all copied from sh. Other features, for example, history, were copied from CSH and KSH. Bash is a POSIX shell but with a number of extensions. The name itself is an acronym, a pun, and a description. As an acronym, it stands for Born Again Shell, referring to its objective as a free replacement for the Born Shell. As a pun, it expressed that objective in a phrase that sounds similar to Born Again, a term for spiritual rebirth. The name is also descriptive of what it did, bashing together the features of sh, CSH, and KSH. History Brian Fox began coding Bash on January 10, 1988 after Richard Stallman became dissatisfied with the lack of progress being made by a prior developer. Stallman and the Free Software Foundation considered a free shell that could run existing sh scripts so strategic to a completely free system built from BSD and GNU code that this was one of the few projects they funded themselves, with Fox undertaking the work as an employee of FSF. Fox released Bash as a beta version.99, on June 7, 1989 and remained the primary maintainer until sometime between mid-1992 and mid-1994, when he was laid off from FSF and his responsibility was transitioned to another early contributor, Chet Ramey. Features, the Bash command syntax is a superset of the Born Shell command syntax. The vast majority of Born Shell scripts can be executed by Bash without modification, with the exception of born shell scripts stumbling into fringe syntax behavior interpreted differently in bash or attempting to run a system command matching a newer bash built in, etc. Bash command syntax includes ideas drawn from the corn shell and the C shell such as command line editing, command history, the directory stack, the dollar random and dollar PPID variables, and POSIX command substitution syntax dollar, a euro. When used as an interactive command shell and pressing the tab key, Bash automatically uses command line completion to match partly typed program names, file names and variable names. The Bash command line completion system is very flexible and customizable, and is often packaged with functions that complete arguments and file names for specific programs and tasks. Bash's syntax has many extensions lacking in the born shell. Bash can perform integer calculations without spawning external processes. It uses the command and the dollar a euro variable syntax for this purpose. Its syntax simplifies I.O. redirection. For example, it can redirect standard output and standard error at the same time using the end operator. This is simpler to type than the born shell equivalent command file 2 and 1. Bash supports process substitution using the command, syntax, which substitutes the output of a command where a file name is normally used. When using the function keyword, bash function declarations are not compatible with born POSIX scripts, but bash accepts the same function declaration syntax as the born and corn shells, and is POSIX conformant. Because of these and other differences, Bash shell scripts are rarely runnable under the born or corn shell interpreters unless deliberately written with that compatibility in mind, which is becoming less common as Linux becomes more widespread. But in POSIX mode, Bash conformance with POSIX is nearly perfect. Bash supports here documents. Since version 2.05b Bash can redirect standard input from a here string using the operator. Bash 3.0 supports in-process regular expression matching using a syntax reminiscent of Perl. 
Bash 4.0 introduced support for associative arrays. Associative arrays allow a fake support for multidimensional arrays, in a similar way to Orc. Brace expansion, brace expansion, also called alternation, is a feature copied from the C shell. It generates a set of alternative combinations. Generated results need not exist as files. The results of each expanded string are not sorted and left to right order is preserved. Brace expansions should not be used in portable shell scripts, because the born shell will not produce the same output. When brace expansion is combined with wildcards, the braces are expanded first, and then the resulting wildcards are substituted normally. Hence, a listing of JPEG and PNG images in the current directory could be obtained using startup scripts. When bash starts, it executes the commands in a variety of dot files. Though similar to bash shell script commands, which have execute permission enabled and an interpreter directive of bash, the default dot files used by bash require neither execution order of startup files. Comparison with the born shell and CSH startup sequences, elements of bash were derived from the born shell and CSH, and allow limited startup file sharing with the born shell and provide some startup features familiar to users of the CSH. Legacy compatible bash startup example, the skeleton slash bash profile below is compatible with the born shell and gives semantics similar to CSH for the slash BASHRC and slash bash login. The a file name are tests to see if the file name exists and is readable, simply skipping the part after the if it's not. Operating system issues in bash startup, some versions of Unix and Linux contain bash system startup scripts, generally under the slash etc. directories, which are called as part of standard bash initialization but which themselves may read in other startup files in a different order than that in the documented bash startup sequence. The default content of the root user's files may also have issues, as well as the skeleton files provided to new user accounts upon setup. The startup scripts that launch the X window system may also do surprising things with the user's bash startup scripts in an attempt to set up the user's environment variables before launching the window manager, but are often addressable using a slash session or slash profile file to read the slash profile which provides the environment variables needed for the bash shell windows spawned from the window manager, such as xterm or gnome terminal. Portability, invoking bash with a POSIX option or stating set o POSIX in a script causes bash to conform very closely to the POSIX 1003.2 standard. Bash shell scripts intended for portability should at least take into account the born shell it intends to replace. Bash has certain features that the traditional born shell lacks. Among these are, certain extended invocation options, command substitution using dollar, notation, brace expansion, certain array operations, and associative arrays, the double brackets extended test construct, the double parentheses arithmetic evaluation construct, certain string manipulation operations, process substitution, a regular expression matching operator. Bash specific built ins, coprocessors, keyboard shortcuts. The following shortcuts work when using default key bindings. By bindings can be enabled by running set o by. Note For shortcuts involving alt, you may be able to use esc instead. Note Sometimes, you must use esc instead of alt, because the alt shortcut conflicts with another shortcut. For example, in Trisca 5.0, Pressing Alt plus F will not move the cursor forward one word, but will activate file in the menu of the terminal window. Tab to the first or auto completes from the cursor position. CTRL plus or moves the cursor to the line start. CTRL plus bar moves the cursor back one character. CTRL plus car sends the signal SIGINT to the current task, which aborts and closes it. CTRL plus D sends an EOF marker, which closes the current shell. If there is text on the current line, deletes the current character. CTRL plus A moves the cursor to the line end. CTRL plus FAR moves the cursor forward one character. CTRL plus GAR abort the research and restore the original line. CTRL plus HAR deletes the previous character.
CTRL plus E equivalent to the tab key. CTRL plus JAR equivalent to the enter key. CTRL plus CAR clears the line content after the cursor and copies it into the clipboard. CTRL plus LA clears the screen content. CTRL plus NAR recalls the next command. CTRL plus O executes the found command from history, and fetch the next line relative to the current line from the history for editing. CTRL plus PAR recalls the prior command. CTRL plus RA recalls the last command including the specified character, S. A second CTRL plus A recalls the next anterior command which corresponds to the research, CTRL plus R go back to the next more recent command of the research. If you change that XOFF setting, use CTRL plus Q to return. CTRL plus TAR transpose the previous two characters. CTRL plus WAY clears the line content before the cursor and copies it into the clipboard. CTRL plus FAR if the next input is also a control sequence, type it literally, CTRL plus WAC clears the word before the cursor and copies it into the clipboard. CTRL plus X CTRL plus A edits the current line in the dollar editor program, or VIVE undefined. CTRL plus X CTRL plus RA read in the contents of the input file, and incorporate any bindings or variable assignments from there. CTRL plus X CTRL plus way incremental undo, separately remembered for each line. CTRL plus X CTRL plus var display version information about the current instance of bash. CTRL plus X CTRL plus ZAN alternates the cursor with its old position, CTRL plus YA adds the clipboard content from the cursor position. CTRL plus R sends the signal SIGTSTP to the current task, which suspends it. To execute it in background one can enter BG. To bring it back from background or suspension FG, process name or job it can be issued. CTRL plus A incremental undo, separately remembered for each line. Alt plus bar moves the cursor backward one word. Alt plus car capitalizes the character under the cursor and moves to the end of the word. Alt plus dar cuts the word after the cursor. Alt plus far moves the cursor forward one word. Alt plus la lowers the case of every character from the cursor's position to the end of the current word. Alt plus ra cancels the changes and puts back the line as it was in the history. Alt plus way capitalizes every character from the cursor's position to the end of the current word. Alt plus A insert the last argument to the previous command. Processes management, in bash shell processes can be executed in batch or concurrent mode. To execute commands in batch they must be separated by the character semicolon. In this example, when command 1 is finished, command 2 is executed. To have a concurrent execution of command 1 and command 2, they must be executed in the bash shell in the following way. In this case command 1 is executed in background, returning immediately the control to the shell that executes command 2. Summarizing, normally a command is executed in foreground. The control of the shell returns to the user after the command finishes its execution, with the symbol and after the command, it can be executed in background. The shell is ready to execute other commands, concurrently to the first command. A program in the running state and in foreground can be suspended pressing CTRLZ. A suspended program can be restarted in foreground using the command FG or background using the command BG. See also Comparison of command shells, references External links, official website, bash reference manual, bash guide for beginners article at the Linux documentation project. Advanced Bash Scripting Guide article at the Linux Documentation Project, Linux Shell Scripting Tutorial v2.0 Wiki, the comprehensive list of Bash reference documentation and examples, useful Bash history tips and tricks, 2008 interview with GNU Bash's maintainer, Chet Ramey, working with Bash environment variables, video tutorial for creating a Bash script, Bash commands and examples, colorized Bash prompt, how to set up a colorized bash prompt based on the current connection method. JBash project is a Java parser for the born again shell. The official channel FAQ for Freynode's bash channel is bashfac. BASHDB, 
Bash with a built-in debugger. Bash Quick Reference Card, dates from 1999 and version 2.0 2.0 of Bash. Very old. Beginner Linux command line tutorial, covers the basics, all the way up to scripting. Bash Tutorial, a quick tutorial about Bash Shell, with the explanation of the most useful commands. Slides provided.